So here we go, Venia Jackal, New Jersey versus New York City. This will be an interesting one. Jackal, um, I remember in the most recent shine, just started to make his national mark. Um, and I think he's trying to, ri uh, trying to ride that momentum into Smash Ultimate. Of course, once known for his Pichu, right now using Wolf against Venia's signature Grey Greninja. Um, we're going to see if he can take this win, but Venia just going on an absolute tear through Smash Ultimate's lifespan. Um, so it's going to be an interesting match either way. Right, for sure. And I mean, I feel like a lot of this match is going to be uh, taking place in the air. Both Greninja and Wolf have really good aerials. So I'm going to be interested to see what Venia can get off of his nares, if he's going to get these Fs, uh, forward airs. Yeah, of course. Um, and of course, this is going to be an interesting match in and of itself, because the winner of this match actually goes on to fight Samsora. Ooh, the gimp by Venia. Ah, that was a great gimp, you're right. Jackal taking a taking a second to bounce a little bit, like, all right, you know what, I definitely got hit by that, but let's go. But Venia not giving him a chance to breathe, oh my god. Yeah, it's a lot, it's really frustrating when you get a lot of percent on your opponent, and then you, loo or you lose a really early stock. It can be demoralizing, but Jackal's just gonna have to stay in it mentally. The set's so early, best of five through all top 64, means that you're going to get to play a lot of Smash Ultimate. Oh my god. Venia, just, the conversions on his Greninja are just so smart. And in the back air. And you see Jackal fading out before he uses that up B to make sure he doesn't get gimped. That up smash wow. gonna kill though, no lightning on it. But I wouldn't be surprised if it kills. I mean, Greninja's kind of a lightweight. I wouldn't say too light, but he's on the lighter side of characters, in my opinion. And Jackal just throwing out that wolf forward air. Such a big, Ooh, oppressive hitbox. Ooh, catches him hitbox. with the up smash. I really like that. Yeah. You know, you look at wolf up smash, and at least when I first saw it, I was like, this move can't be oh, good. But the these wolves water. use it so much and to such a good effect. Gets the footstool into the nair. I like that by Jackal. I like how Venia is like keeping his space though. He realizes that Jackal is not a player to just like be slept on and he's kind of giving him space to move, but he comes in with that conversion. Venia, medium percent on his last stock, Jackal. Using a lot of Wolf Nair for, uh, for entrance, goes for the grab, but he's just gonna eat these Greninja combos. And the water not gonna kill him just yet. Mm -hmm. But Venia has a lot of control, I mean, I would say that these two players have been, have been playing hit for hit, but it's just the fact that Jackal's lost two pretty early stocks means that it's going to be so much harder to win in a game that's going so back and forth. Right. Venia offstage now. Jackal taking his uh, edge guards kind of slow. I mean, when it comes to a character like when it comes to a when it comes to a character like Greninja, you never really know. Like, oh yeah, this is definitely like uh, a linear recovery. I could just go out there and hit it. Venia looking for that forward air. I don't know if that would have killed or what, but definitely kind of scary. But Jackal Other has caught, smash, yeah, yeah, Jackal has caught uh, Venia with a couple up smashes this game, um, and it's pretty good. For sure, Jackal. He's doing a good job of making Venia want to go into the air. Mm -hmm. I think he's controlling the ground space very well. But every time he baits him into the air, he's like, "All right, guess what I got waiting for you? Right. One big old wolf up smash." Right, and Jackal sitting at high percent. Venia at zero. Venia has the advantage though right now. Ooh, clips him with the water, but Ven or, uh, Jackal, my apologies, is able to go back on the stage. Clips him with the jab. It doesn't seem like Venia's getting Jackal with these. He's going for them, and I like that because they're creative, but. Yeah, and even when he hit it earlier, he didn't really do a whole lot. He just kind of stood on the platform and dash attack. Right. I don't know, I'm sure that was just some sticky movement from him, but at the same time, you'd hope that with an option as good as your up B, you're going to utilize your punishes as best as you can. Doing the water yet again. Mm -hmm. But that time Jackal, being so Ooh. smart, drifting under the stage with a little up B drift before he goes for it to make sure he can get on stage safe. Venya still has Jackal at the ledge. I mean, it's Ooh, all goes good. Goes for that, that grab. That was close. It's, it's good that Jackal isn't losing his stock, but at what cost? He hasn't gotten any percent on Venya at all. Up, up throw is probably coming close to, if not ready to kill from Venya. Probably a couple, probably a couple pummels. Yeah. But after that, probably. Mm -hmm. He's ready to let it rip. Jackal, slowly but surely. Yeah, no, for sure. That was the first time that we saw Venio recover high, which I really like. Mix it up to recovery. Mm -hmm. But 
Oh. Jackal, no fear. Still just throwing out every move in Wolf's arsenal. And now every it's getting aerial. scary. You see Jackal fishing for those back airs. Uses two in a Ooh, row. Goes for the up air. Doesn't get it. I don't know. Jackal brought not using this one the water, back. This one. Oh my god. Forward tilt hitting from behind him? Come on! Welcome to Ultimate. Yeah. <laughs> I think Venny at this point is just looking for like a grab, a whiff area. Yup, yup, yup. He knows that Wolves love to go I'm for that profit. dash attack. Yeah. I'm a prophet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wolf dash attack is such a good option at those high percents. They either set you up for a juggle, for an up air kill, or for uh, a back air kill, or they can kill out right. Venia says, I can dash out of your space. I'm Greninja. Dashes out, dashes back in, gets the grab, gets the up throw, done. I do think Jackal was finding his footing though. Oh, for sure. Jackal was by no means out of it, especially lo losing that first stock so early. The fact that Jackal was even containing himself and bringing that comeback so close is a testament to how well he was playing in the end stages of that match. And we're going to go back to PS2 for this game. Um, I mean, the bans from what I see were not marked on the... Uh, yeah, we're not I, didn't, marked on <laughs> I didn't see him, but it looks like one of those PS2 sets for sure. Um, it was a close game. Obviously, the stage was, if anything, negligible. But um, it looks like it's just uh, Venia and Jack. Uh, Venia Jack and Jackal. It's hot. Don't worry about it. I You're know. doing a great job. <laughs> I'm taking the heat for sure. Um, trying to keep those combos going. But Jackal firing off this game looking a lot different than game one, actually. Like I said, I think Jackal kind of found his footing, figuring it out slowly. Yeah, I got to ask, Lyric, what do you think that Jackal did to just really change what he was doing. I think it just slowed it down. Um, a lot of the times in Ultimate, just like in fighting games in general, if you give another player momentum, they're going to take it and run. Um, especially, you know, with like fighting games, traditional fighting games where they get you in the corner and then you're just in trouble. I think for a second, Jackal was just kind of trying to figure out Greninja as a whole. Oh my god, both of them are going to make it back with that wow. down there by Jackal! That was... A really, really powerful down air. He reads that Venia wants to go straight for the ledge. And, and he goes for it again! My god, Jackal! Momentum what? is all in his favor right now. And Jackal actually using the uh, the little fan board right there. Oh my god. Oh my god. Jackal says, you liked it once, I'll give it to you twice. Look, you see, so he Remember gets that Remember what I said about air. momentum? Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> wow. That so was watch beautiful it. by Jackal. This was oh, awesome. And he's just like, you know what, see ya. Mm -hmm. Venia, he actually got reversed on there. Wanted to get out of a bad situation and still gets down air. And right here, drop zone down air instead. Two different down airs doing the exact same thing. And the crowd's starting to get loud. I see New Jersey on one side and New York City on another. Two houses divided, Romeo and Juliet. And Jackal and Venia are those two. They're looking to bring home the romance to their city and their state. This game looking a little bit closer than last game, though, in terms of neutral for the start. Both of them more so just kind of like, oh, God, I know what you can do. I'm just going to sit back, throw my projectiles, wait for an opportunity. I like the walk back F tilt by Jackal there. Oh, yeah, His spacing is sure. just really, really good. I mean, all the Wolf players have good spacing. They know what works. They know where the hitbox is. Mm -hmm. in, in general, Wolf has a lot of big hitboxes and they just feel like they're impossible to get around. And the wolves that succeed the best are the ones where you look at a forward air and you're just like, dude, I don't know what to do. You look at right. a, a, an up air, you're like, I, I don't know what's going on. You look at an air, you're like, dude, come on. And, and right now it looks like Jack was doing a good job of keeping Venya out. Um, however, the, the neutral does seem to be pretty static right now. Neither of them are getting too big an advantage. Das Attack gonna put Jackal in the corner, but once again, we're at the center stage. Looking at the Dancing Lloyd. Ooh, but that F Smash is gonna take it. First stock for Venia. Venia's sitting at 94. Not too hard for Jackal to bring back. Mm, dash Attack into Up Smash, but it's gonna trade with, I think that was a Nair. Um, now forward air from Venia. Putting Jackal on the edge. Looks like slowing down the pace of the match has instead benefited Venya as it did Jackal in the last one. Off stage. Ooh, the water. You always gotta watch that. Wow, that forward air not gonna hit, and instead Jackal getting that dash attack. Look at that Nair. Venya's angles are so incredible. I feel like he's always doing some crazy diagonal, and then he ends up back at stage, and I'm like, I don't even know how you did that. Jackal still trying to find his way in, but kind of looking like game one again. Ooh. 
I lied. Venya overextends a little bit there. Right. Landing on the platform with that forward air. Jackal going like, you know what? I got an F tilt tipper for you. Ooh, okay. Meets him with the down smash. I like it. Venya mixing up his edge guards now. I think he's done with the whole water tricks. The water works. Mm -hmm. Oh. That was a good one. Thank you. I'll give you that one. Okay, okay, good. All right. And now Venya looking for that downer on shield. He doesn't use downer a lot. Of course, it, it, it was once the, the herald of Twitter combos. But instead, Venya looking for those solid F smashes instead. Venya up at low percent on this on his second stock here. Jackal needs another one of those really explosive conversions that nobody is expecting. But mm. he's going to eat 40%. Maybe he used all the gas in the tank on that last game. Who knows? But it seems like Venya has firm control of the match now. Sitting up almost exactly a perfect stock. But uh, instead, he's getting that Nair facing Jackal to the side. Good side B from Jackal. Sees Venya going off stage. Knows he right. can't get punished for going back on. I think specifically... Ooh, okay. Puts him with a down smash. Jackal brought this right back. I think a lot of the times now, um, you can see a lot of... Uh, Venia's approaches are him just jumping and daring. Um, and I think Jackal's kind of having a hard time figuring out like what the proper punish is for that. Yeah, it, it does seem like um, he doesn't really know exactly what to do against that option. But uh, with that being said, Jackal's got Venya on his last stock and vice versa. So it's not out of the woods yet for Venya. Ooh. Ah, <laughs> the crowd is screaming. <laughs> Venia looking for the finisher here. Goes for the forward smash. Not going to make it right there. That would have been three uh -oh, F smash on the game. You do not want to give Jackal an inch because he will take a mile. Oh, that might be it. Yeah. Right, well. There we go. The water trick's finally paying off for Venia. Mm -hmm. I think that's what he's been going for the entire time. But. Yeah. Because you see, when you hit him with that water, you can't necessarily move again. You're still in your free fall. And so Venya was in the perfect position to say, I know Wolf doesn't have the drift to get around my up smash, so let me just throw it out. Mm -hmm. Venya uh, going up, I believe, 2-1 in this set. It's going to look really good. Oh, we're going to Unova. OK. Interesting choice. I mean, we typically don't see Unova. A lot of people hate. Oh my god. Sorry, I was just handed water. And if you guys, if you guys didn't see yesterday, it was hot. It was oh, yeah. hot in this venue yesterday. Um, um, a lot of people don't like Unova, especially the teleport ca characters, Palutena, Zeldas. Oh, yeah. Uh, just because the nice ledge the underneath the stage is kind of in. Eh. But I actually do like this stage, the stage itself. I just don't like the layout. <laughs> but game I mean, four here. It does serve a little bit of a different purpose as um, your Kalos and your Pokemon Stadium, even though the platforms do look semi-similar. Um, definitely not as much room to move around the platforms. Um, it feels almost like Yoshi's story in that sense. Ooh! Venya gonna make it back. Now Venya, he's on the cusp of a 3-1 here. Um, Jackal had it turned around for that game too, but he hasn't really found the spark since. Double up air, triple up air, wow! And now getting that dash attack on a sore landing from Venya. Ooh, nice parry by Jack. We're going to meet him in the air with a Nair. I feel like a lot of the times, like I said, Venya is just approaching with a lot of these uh, aerials, and Jackal's just, he's having a hard time figuring it out. Wow. You see that? Both players just kind of stop. I'm telling you, I said it earlier, jump out of shield is such an awesome option in Smash Ultimate. And so a lot of times you'll be looking to cover that. Ooh. Hitbox sends him right. Venya popping off a little bit in his chair, not getting the right hitbox of that up smash. Good just weird. I feel like all of his smash attacks send in odd directions sometimes. All right. Now, either of these two characters can take a stock here. Both of them have strong up smashes. Ooh, not going to get that forward air, but another forward smash. Venya's been confirming these forward smashes amazing in this set. Right, and Jackal looking for anything that's going to put him back in the game. He knows. The Venia's neutral hurts, just like that substitute. Shaman Sky chilling in the back, cheering on Venia, perhaps, his Pokemon brethren. Venia looking for the aerials. Jackal just having a hard time. <gasps> was that a taunt? I don't know. Was that a taunt? I don't even know. I think that was a taunt. Wow. I'm going to just say it. You know what? I think that might have been a taunt. Good for him. All right, but now Jackal getting that back throw. Not going to do it just yet. Um, almost in the Ooh. center. Wow. That looks spicy. All those oh. parries on the water shuriken. Oh. And 
That was that was kind of hype. Yeah. That was that was kind of hype. All right, Jack, we're bringing it right back. Being like, you know what? You taunted. If if that was a taunt. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna parry and dash attack, and see how you like it. Now forward tilt from Jackal, getting himself back in it. In fact, he has a percent lead here on this game four. Um, looks like Unova uh, might have been a pretty good choice for him. Oh no, for sure. I definitely think uh, Jackal is utilizing the platforms yeah, wow. <laughs> for movement. Mm -hmm. And as <laughs> um, I said, Jackal hadn't had that spark. He is proving me wrong here on Unova Castle. Whatever the name of the stage is. You know about Pokemon League. Thank you. Same thing as Kalos, just, you know. But. And I do like how uh, Jackal is kind of playing the neutral now. Um, definitely, like I said, he slowed it down, but Venia coming down with a forward air. Shaman is back. She's in her land form. As Venia fights to try to take control of this game once again, looking for that Nair, but uh, again, Jackal doesn't bite. He's been doing a good job of staying in shield when he needs to. Look right there. He doesn't need to drop shield and get hit by an unnecessary forward air. I just like how both of these players are giving each other space. I think they realize, like, like right here. Ooh, okay. I like the backup F smash. Yeah, you can tell there's a lot of respect from both players for each other. They know their characters have big, good hurt boxes and good hit boxes, rather. Um, and instead, they're just waiting to see what their opponent wants to do before swinging themselves. Venny is sitting at 89% on his last stock. I don't know if he wants to go to this game five. We've seen some wacky game fives here at Defend the North, top 64. But Jackal clips him with a nair, gets the dash attack, tries to go for the water shuriken. Venya, he's using these back airs on shield, and it doesn't look like Jackal can do a whole lot, but they're not really connecting, so they're not doing a whole lot for him himself. Right. And Jackal instead giving the percent 144.5% on Venya. He can get sneezed on, and he's going to die, but instead looks for that double nair. Still lots of space between these players. Ooh. And that back air. He's going to do it. He's going to take that. We're going to go to a game five here between Venya and Jackal. I like I like this set a lot. It's not as fast, right? Uh, game, the one that uh, Jackal won, I believe, game two. Uh, that was quick. Oh, that yeah. was fast. Uh, but the neutral here is very methodical. Very like, you know, I'm just gonna wait. I have an aerial. Both of these people, both of these players are just approaching with aerials. Yeah, for feet. sure. They're with the either with the um, jump nair by Greninja, the forward air by the forward air by Wolf, and the nair. Um, so it's really about who can convert off of their aerial hits better. Absolutely. You want to talk about like big, good hitboxes? These are two characters that have a lot of them. And so a lot of it is just trying to space around your opponent and see... I I'm not trying to run in and get hit by a Greninja back air that's going to lead to a dash attack or something. Right, and or we're on stadium for game five, of course. But like I said, both these players giving each other space. Jackal going to lead it with a dash attack into the grab. Jackal's playing fast, he's Ooh, playing here quick. here we go. Gets that down throw, Ooh, gets the get, down smash. Yeah, the nice down smash read. But Venia going to attempt to fire back. Only gets the dash attack on this approach. So it looks like Jackal's switching gears now, going for a more aggressive option. Uh, in general, Wolf has better get off me tools than Greninja, especially his Nair and uh, to a lesser Ooh, extent his forward air. Goes for the down smash read. And so he can play this risky game, this fast paced game. And as you said, looking for that down smash read. Not going to get it, but really interesting situation now back to neutral. Like I said, this neutral is very spaced out between both these players. Venia is sitting at 126 and Jack only sitting at 10. Ooh, but that up smash is gonna take it. Yep. And New York and New Jersey is getting loud. Up throw, up air. Looks for the damage output on Ooh, the forward beautiful. tilt. Gonna get yeah, it. Yeah, no. I like Jackal spacing this game a lot more. He knows he's, he now, I think, understands what Greninja can do. He's gonna eat a little bit of an aerial combo. Mm -hmm. This is reminding me a lot of Smock versus Ooh. Jewel, the first set we watched. As Jackal figures out what he wants to do against Greninja, he Ooh. shuts him down more and more. And I do like how uh, Venia is going in, throwing out his aerial, and if it doesn't work, he's kind of retreating back and he's going to try again. Forward but tilt. my god, Jackal, all just all over Venia at this point. Can I this get him with another Jackal. up smash? He's absolutely controlling the pace of the match. He's never putting himself in a position where he can get hit by something Venia wants to set out. Jersey's and instead, he's loud. just waiting. Venia going to get the grab. 
Goes for the tip of the up air. But Jackal, finding his footing, gets the weird hit of the fair there into a little bit of a cute aerial combo. Mm -hmm. But Venia. Oh, this is a tough situation. Ooh, Another hit him down with air, and Jackal Ooh, finishes it out with a, with pop a off. three stock pop off. <laughs> Lyric, Jackal showed up. Oh, yeah. Look at this. So Jackal, with only 10% to his name, gets ready to take this first stock. And he's just waiting. He's not doing anything. And he anything. clips him with that twice. Mm -hmm. um, you can see it here. Just gets him with the um, move off stage and to just the, into the um, up smash twice. Mm -hmm. But here, last stock, yeah, just, this is gonna be he just knows. He's like, and remember what I said, the substitute off stage. I mean, I felt that way with um, another player like earlier in bracket, but they're going to fall for it once, yeah. and I don't think that they're going to fall for it twice. Exactly. So. We were talking about Odyssey's Greninja, too. Right. Using that substitute off stage is not a bad option. And when it's used right, a counter off stage can be a really good option. We saw Sam Sora use it um, in his set. But it just so happens that when you use that substitute off stage too much, or when you use it in a way that's predictable, you're going right. to get punished for it.